gentlemen, welcome to the Sweat My Channel. This is Adiba. Today we're gonna learn how to not get cyber bullied by producers. So I'm gonna show you two techniques that will speed up your workflow, your time, save your time, and uh, save you a lot of bullying so you don't get called out on Twitter. So yeah, like we all know that the most famous like technique to put your 808s in case to like put it up an octave or two and then like use your ears but sadly not all of us have good enough ears to recognize what is in key and what is not most of us do have good ears some of us don't I don't and a lot of beginner producers don't so it's completely fine there's nothing wrong with that there are multiple ways you have to practice and you will learn over time but today I will show you some techniques that do not require your ears and are really easy to do before when I was like a beginner I was scared to admit that I can't go just with my ears to put 808s in key because just my ears don't work like that I was scared to admit that I don't know how to put it by my ear and I realized, especially today, when everyone is like laughing at producers who don't know how to put it by ear it can be kind of hard to just like it's okay, it's completely fine if you don't know it I'm not gonna laugh at you, a lot of producers will, but I'm not and I will show you how to correctly put your 808s in key okay, so I'm gonna use this sample as an example So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it into a mixer track and from there we're gonna open EQ and we're gonna cut everything, everything besides the low end. And we're gonna use it like one more EQ to make it sure it's like precise. So what's important here is so you can hear just the bass of the sample. And if the sample doesn't have bass then boost it so we can only hear the bass notes. Once you perfectly EQ it. We're gonna open Edison and we are gonna record just the bass. We out here. So now we have it here, just the bass, and I'm gonna put this here. We have two options. We can go to right click here and enter the pitch correction, new tone, and now we have the root notes here. We can see like exactly which notes to follow. See, this is A sharp. So now we can go into our 808s and we can instantly like know that here we need to do a sharp another option to do is to right click and go in audio editors and we can go into tools and then go into convert to score and dump to piano roll and click that and now once you go into piano roll you have it here Control x Control v into the 808s now we have the exact pattern and exact notes used in the bass it's not gonna always be 100 percent accurate for example these here like little cut notes that that's not true that's not how it goes but what is important it, it will guess the what is it called like the root notes we have a perfect way of how it goes we know this is a sharp and we know this is f so yeah that's pretty much it i really hope this helps you and you won't be bullied in future also i'm gonna break down in a video this sample that i showed here but i don't know what to call it like what, what type of sample is it so if you can help in the comments i would really appreciate it and yeah that's pretty much it see you in the next video